I could not hold it again. I was just like, please, ah, I need to use the restroom. Like, my stomach is really doing me one kind. She now told me, ah, Gary, you have to hold it. I said, hey. I said, I can't hold it. So, I can't <laughs> no, hold it. No, no, hmm, no. I told her, I can't hold this thing. Almost, I need to go. I need to go. Please call for help. YouTube, welcome back to the Beauty YouTube channel. If you're new, hello, my name is Beauty Dressman. So, in today's video, as you see in the title, I'm going to be giving you a story time on my most embarrassing childhood experience. <sighs> I know you guys, some more of you, you are not excited because you get embarrassing, you get embarrassing, you get to the in the statement I make, so you're happy, you want to hear what's really embarrassing. It's all right. Yeah, so let's get right into this video. So basically, it all started like this. We went to see my family friend. We stepped over at their house, and then and these stories, oh gosh. I stayed at their house for like three days. On the third day was when all this drama started. That day. I'm so emotional right now. Please just give me some more. Okay, on the third day, we wanted to leave. We we're ready to leave, but then they had a party that they wanted to go for. They had their friends' party they wanted to go for, and then they were like, "Oh, we should come over. We should come over before we leave. We should just come and join them for the party." And we we're like, "Okay, sure." So I went with my elder sister. Yeah, my immediate elder sister went with us for the party. As we went to the party, um, the first place we went to was ShopRite. I can't remember the shop right, but I think it's the one at Lekki. But we went to shop right, and then we missed out some part of the celebration, birthday party, whatever. We missed the part where they were meant to watch their movie or something like that. But we came in when they were having KFC, something like that. And we just ate basically, we just ate basically. So, well, my stomach at that point, I don't know what happens with her, but we ate at that point. After we ate, then we changed location, then we went to the house. My friend's friend's house, like for the party, whatever. Some some of the kids were in the house, that's their house, but some were just in the estates because the estate has a park, like where kids can rest or stay or play or whatever. So basically, I was there with one of my family friends, I was there with her. We were at the park there, we were just at the playing ground, resting and all of that. So this is where the story starts. Everybody open your ear. At that point in time, was when my stomach started to sing. You see, Whenever your stomach sings, eh? I tend to have quickly. I'm talking from my experience. You never know. I didn't know that she had a plan for me that day. She was singing, I ignored her. In my little mind, I thought that she was, oh no, she just singing, you know, small song. At the point, she was just getting to me. I said, Hakini, she that this thing will not just come as I girl. Have you not gone and tell the person that you want to use the restoration room? Me, when I was a child, I was very shy. I didn't even know how to talk to person. Even anything that is emergency, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to say it. So, I keep quiet. I just look up to God at the altar and finish out my bed. I say, mm -hmm. God will make a way for me. I didn't get a top rubbish. I could not hold it again. I was just like, ah, I never fell out. And I told my friend at home, please, I need to use the restroom. I really need to use the restroom like this. My stomach is really doing me one kind. <laughs> so she now told me, ah, Gary, you have to hold it. I said, hey, I said, I can't hold it. So I can't <laughs> no, hold no, it. Please, no, no, I need no. to use the restroom. <laughs> you see, this stomach and Borox. What they have done to us in this life, when we're in public, they just want to show us their true colors. Mm, I told her I can't hold this thing. Um, I need to go. I need to go. Please call for help. She told me that, oh, okay. I should just go to the house that they will show me the restroom. I said, Give me go to his house. You are the one out. You are the friend. I didn't know these people. I didn't know they would help me out. Please. I didn't want to embarrass myself in this situation. I didn't even know anyone. And I'm very shy. I didn't know anybody. Please help me out. I told her, she said, that, ah, she's tired. Though. She can't. I said, God, if I continue this, I will help me. Conversation with this girl, but at least it will not just come and I just told her, all right, no problem. I say, oh God, maybe if I just, if I should lost on the way, I will lost with this thing. Bruh. God, please help me. So basically, their house was the party house. So that's 
like this the, the, they were playing music so the music was very loud so you could easily locate the house the music was so loud that it was echoing everywhere in the estate so you are basically you are really confused i'm hearing the music from two sides so i'm like where exactly is this out where is the house? where can i locate this out like this ah i say god please lead me to the way something just told me is this house if I want if I enter house, that is not the house. I saw you. That was a long time ago. I was like seven or eight. Like, hey. Basically, now I just went to the house in this corner. I had the right, I can never forget. This was one of my most embarrassing child experience. How would I forget? I went to the house at this side. I just entered. At that point in time, I don't know. You people, listen to me. This thing has already come out. Jesus! As I was going, so some little drop, not drop on the entrance of their house. I said, oh, Jesus. She will be there for come like this. I quickly asked them, where's the toilet? I went into the toilet. Oh no, mess up. I said a lot. You are my shepherd. I will not want. I will not lack anything. So I was trying to clean up myself, clean my underwear and everything. Yeah. Now you know. Now that's a waste of time. Everybody owes. I think the, the auntie of the birthday girl or something was perceiving something because I heard that she's the auntie. So. She said she was perceiving something that was the smell, what the smell, anything. They now brought the um, Izal or bleach and started putting everywhere and all that. Embarrassment all limited. <coughs> someone, someone shall called and called and I don't even know how my mommy just came with my sister and everything. You know? My mommy started changing me. I was like, you know, those days we used to feel like we had something, we don't have anything. I was just like seven or eight. I didn't even have anything. I don't know, the talks and like, compound me, nothing was that. So, I didn't even know what I just felt you know, I was just shy like mom why are you changing me? I was like you know like my mom was not trying to explain to the woman that oh my daughter is a very shy person she you know I'm not told that so now my friend that did not take me to the house apparently did not take me to the house didn't know what she was doing she shocked me that day she was laughing at me she's older than me by the way she's like like five years older than me or I don't know but she's older than me maybe four years I think she was laughing at me, it shocked me. At that point in time, I couldn't even laugh. I was like, what am I even laughing for? Look at me, I've been the day to be helping to the public. What are you laughing at? What are you laughing for? I couldn't laugh. Her laugh was quite contagious, to be very honest. But well, I refused to laugh. Why are you laughing? Who was funny? She was just laughing at me. She laughed. Ha <laughs> powder waste product in solid form. Solid. This is not liquid thing. Solid for my love. That was my most embarrassing childhood experience. I did. Be very honest. That was so embarrassing. I don't know if you enjoyed this short video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Meaning like this video. Well, if you're looking for the song, I think it's only really here. You will find it here. Just give it a thumbs up and share this video to your friends. If you have any embarrassing childhood experience, you know, just give us a very brief story in the comment section down below. And um, if you're confused on what to do, then see this like button, click on it. You see, if you look down, down below, you now see one subscribe button, click on it, subscribe to this channel, and I will not disappoint you. You will not stop loving me. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.